in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you're welcome to another spirit filled message on fifty centric message if you're new to this channel I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted unto you and then God is going to visit you your way thank you for watching be blessed we are going to pray for a few minutes when it's time to pray pray passionately don't allow the devil just deceive you and waste your time I know that there are many of you standing I see you more than even the people here let me tell you you remind me of the Reinhard Bonke crusade where I was standing in the midst of several people I was not on the high table but my hunger took me to the front although I was at the back the hunger of a man can drive you to the heart of God regardless where you are standing your heart can be connected think about the generation that stands waiting for your grace some of you are pastors. Think about the people God has committed. Let me tell you the truth. There is more in God. There is more in God. We have to be honest and hungry and desperate tonight. Hallelujah. So I came to lend my voice with all the men and the women of God in this city to lift up the banner of something new. That we have seen God do great things in this city. But I'm telling you there are dimensions of God that we have not seen. And we must press through hunger. Praise the Lord. It must be a desperate cry from the heart of people. Lord, I desire you. Thank you for the revelations. Thank you for the healings. Thank you for the prophecies. But this cannot be all. Like, you know, when, when listen, listen, we're going to pray. When Pastor Shola was sharing, I mean, his session ministered to me so much, I was almost going to prompt him and say, continue, Pastor. That when the enemy comes like a flood, the standard must match the flood. And it just reminded me of how dams are built. They are built to ensure that regardless the rise and the volume of water, that the dam is built in a way and a manner that it becomes higher than the flood. Hallelujah. So I trust that there will be all kinds of impartations. I may not guarantee that everybody is here hungry to receive, but I know for sure there has to be someone in this meeting who has fasted, who has prayed, who has said, Lord, I know there is more in you. And thank God for what you have done in my life, but I am desperate and I am hungry. Hallelujah. Wherever you are in the next five to ten minutes, please find a corner and cry before the God of heaven. Take your eyes away from Joshua Selma. Let it be a cry from the depth of your spirit. Every time he calls for a convergence, it is because there is a cry in the spirit for a higher dimension. A higher grace. Someone is praying. Pray the prayer that draws your mantle to your life. Pray the prayer that draws the grace for your destiny to your life. This is part of the meeting.
We desire your glory. We desire your power. Turn my life around. Set me on fire tonight, O God. In the name of Jesus. Grant me the eyes that can see, the ears that can hear. Let there be a desperation of Belkuta. In the last day of the feast, that great day, he lifted up his voice and said, If any man pass, Shila Baruta Sadabalanta Skabara Sushia. Bring up all wells, open up all fountains. Shile barato se atagara banana banana banana. Embrace 
Spirit of the living God, we pray and we cry tonight that you will grant us illumination, grant us power with God, let your word prevail over our flesh until Christ is enthroned, set us on fire tonight. And let Jesus himself be glorified. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, please listen. I'm going to be brief tonight. But I want you to be very sensitive. There is a very strong anointing in this place. Very strong anointing. I believe with all my heart that there are activations and there are impartations, transference of possibilities that whilst you are listening, something is happening to your spirit man. And so we'll be very brief tonight, but don't be distracted. Don't just listen to hear. Hallelujah. Please be seated. Please be seated. We live in a time where a generation is desperate to see the reality of the spirit life that it translates to become more than a sermon articulately communicated by an intelligent man of God the world is not looking for historians the world is not looking for orators necessarily there is a desperation I'm seeing the number 21 in the spirit and I'm seeing there is a fire and it's coming on 21 people right now as I'm speaking just sit down you don't have to stand please I want you to bring them out here while I teach you will not be distracted 21 people I stretch my hands across the length and breadth of this place may the angel of his presence among these 21 people ignite them please let the ushers bring them for others is the fire of evangelism coming upon your spirit man in an unusual way let's just if, if you have them just you can just bring them while I teach that fire of evangelism for others is the opening of prophetic portals 21 people this is what I'm seeing in the spirit and for others you are drinking of ancient wells there are generals that came from this city and their mantles continue to hover around this city searching for vessels that are available you see the rain of your love you feel the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear See the rain of your love We feel the wind of your spirit Now the heartbeat of heaven Let us hear See the rain of your love Feel the wind of your spirit Now the heart Let us hear 
Listen to me. I want you to understand what the Spirit of God is doing. This is, this is not showmanship. It's a communication of a desperation of the Holy Spirit pressing into the earth to find vessels that can and will be able to back the revival that has been prophesied upon. It is not a sermon. It is not a doctrine. It is an experience of power. The faith life and the spirit life is beyond the teaching. There must be an experience, an attestation to the dealings of the spirit within a territory. is telling me that there is a move of God that is coming to this city there is a prophetic and an apostolic move of the spirit that is coming upon the land of Abelkuta it's a wind of the spirit that will begin to blow across the length and the breadth of this city pastors prophets evangelists apostles will begin to rise with such depth of power and fire men will begin to have encounters of the secret place you will find people who will shut down or regular preaching and they will go on hiding for weeks and for months because they will come into a season of strange dealings with the holy spirit you may think they are missing but they are not missing is the experience of the cave of adulam god is going to begin to pick people one by one it will not be a corporate thing it will not even be about husband and wife or pastors and members God will search for willing vessels one by one he will pick men and begin to train them and prune them and discipline them and then open their eyes to new dimensions in the spirit and then place new wine upon their lives they will come out like men of Issachar having an understanding of the times and knowing what Israel ought to do patient with me is the spirit of revival is the birthing of something new and something prophetic upon your city one last prayer and then I get back to the world there are 11 people here there is the grace this move of the spirit that is coming you have seen it in your dreams you have seen it in your visions and I know that many people will be part of it but I'm seeing 11 specific people, men and women. There is a strong fire that is coming upon them. Lord, where are they in this crowd? From the front to the back, this 11, oh God, that you are consecrating in this season, may that fire fall from heaven. In the name of Jesus, ignite them, oh God, like the forces of Samson. Ignite them, oh God, a burden of power, a burden of fire. I 
apportioned to them dimensions in the spirit apportioned to them levels of grace illumination and power we shake up the fountains of this city we command you to deliver the mantles that are hiding we shake up the fountains of Abelkuta. deliver the mantles of the prophetic deliver the mantles of the apostolic that the labor of the fathers that have sojourned the soil of this territory will not be in vain spring up all wells we call you by prophecy sit down, be sensitive. Hosea chapter 6. Let's sit if you can. Pastor Shola, you see, what God is doing in this place this night is very prophetic. There is truly a birthing. I'm seeing a vision of a pregnant woman, and I'm seeing water just bursting. And when, when the water of a woman breaks, it's a sign that something is about to be released. This is what I'm seeing in my vision. That for some of you, the training is almost coming to an end. Your season, 40 days coming to an end the season of appearing is almost opening up the days of fasting the days of discipline no one knows you yet you are still in the cave of Adulam but there is there is a birthing please hear what I'm saying I'm speaking by the spirit there are some is here you've not produced one song yet you have hundreds of them God has prohibited you and said these are songs of revival that the time will come when the nation will hear these songs there are some of you, the anointing on your life can shake territories, but God has not allowed you to honor one single ministration. But I'm seeing a woman and her water is already putting, I mean, busting forth. And the Bible says, as soon as Zion travails, that she puts forth her son. Please, where you are, pray in one minute. Lord, what you are doing in my life for my generation do not stop do not stop do not stop the training do not let my tears prohibit what you are doing it may be a painful sacrifice but i open up my spirit please pray chapter 6 I'm not sure I may be able to share what I plan to share but wherever we can stop tonight 
there is a grace to just attend to serious issues here as i'm standing here pastor i'm seeing chains i'm seeing oppression i'm seeing all kinds of things and like we're sharing briefly with pastor i will never be the man of god who will come into a city and leave the chains of people on them no way it's impossible there has to be an evidence of the life the power the glory the effulgence of his grace so that you will go back with a conviction that you have not been taught cunningly devised fables Hosea chapter 6 please and verse 3 please sit down if you can mighty God It says and let us know let us follow on to jehovah give us kjv if you can please thank you his going forth is prepared as the morning and he shall come to us as the rain he shall come to us but there is a revelation of himself that he would want us to see he will not come as he came yesterday. He will come to us as the rain. I want to talk very briefly on the rain. It's a revelation that the Lord will have me share. Hallelujah. Now, please listen as best as you can. scripture reveals the Holy Spirit as one who manifests himself to man in different forms it is consistent with scripture and is consistent with God to manifest himself to man dimensionally and we see that in scripture the holy ghost manifests himself using several forms for instance he can manifest as fire for instance he can manifest as wine for instance he can manifest as oil for instance he can manifest as water and then we also see that he can manifest as rain. Please look up. Hosea is prophesying to us that God wants to come to us. He's talking about the move of God. But he's saying that there is a pattern he has chosen to come through. And he says he will come to us. Please give us the B part there. That he will come to us as the rain. He has chosen to reveal himself to a people and to a territory as the rain. Every time the Holy Spirit uses an emblem, please look up, to reveal himself to men. These are tokens of revival. These are tokens of the outpouring of the Spirit. And it's important that we study why he chooses to assume those modes and those patterns because they sustain an understanding that will guide us on how to receive his ministry the way you receive fire is not the way you receive rain when rain is coming you put a bucket or you create a channel when fire is coming you don't put a bucket so the holy ghost reveals himself as several emblems and it's important that the saints sustain the intelligence to be able to understand how he reveals himself and how to receive of his unique ministry what is the rain a brief exhortation the rain is a dimension of the outpouring of the holy spirit upon people upon territories that is responsible 
for activating certain dimensions of spiritual possibilities now watch this every time fire is revealed fire comes to prune fire comes to purify are we together now fire comes to produce better fashions of the same thing when you put your yam or you put whatever it is under fire the yam does not change to potato the potato does not change to rice it only changes to a form that is better for consumption so when the holy ghost reveals himself as fire there is what he seeks to do to burn off the flesh to cut off the excesses to break the stony heart to become the heart of flesh but when he comes as the rain every time the rain comes the rain comes in response to dryness the rain comes in response to barrenness isaiah 32 and verse 15 until the spirit be poured upon us from on high in the similitude of a rain then he will turn a wilderness to a fruitful vine and then if a fruitful vine he turns it into a forest so when the holy spirit comes as the rain he comes to provoke to, to provoke a new dimension of possibilities that have not been seen he comes to bring abundance he comes to move people into realms of fruitfulness rain is responsible for fruitfulness hear me man of god because there is going to be a revelation now rain fire is not responsible for fruitfulness fire is responsible for productivity but rain is responsible for fruitfulness is there hope for a tree even if it be caught at the scent of water not fire so when the holy ghost wants to reveal himself as rain it then means that he must come to a region where there has been a prolonged season of barrenness dryness lack of fruitfulness listen very carefully and there are seven things that happen when the spirit of god is revealed in a territory as the rain i will list them very quickly and then we'll pray let it Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it open. Listen. When the Holy Spirit is revealed to a people a nation, a city, a territory as rain. He will begin to make the reality of certain experiences number one. Very quickly. I want to be as simple as possible because I want us to understand before we pray. Number one. The Holy Ghost manifesting as a rain but increased dimensions of love for God and passion for spiritual things. Watch this. It is rain that makes the farmer suddenly become passionate about his farm. When there is no rain, it will look as if the farmer hates his farm. Yet, the farmer is in love with that farm. But the farmer waits for rain to prompt his passion. Every time rain begins to fall, the farmer's passion too begins to rise. It rises enough, he goes to get his seeds. He goes to get his hoe. He goes to get his tractor. And off he goes to the farm. Until the Holy Ghost comes as rain, it will be impossible for the saints to sustain the kind of passion and zeal that it will take to love God. Listen very carefully. I come from the north. It's largely an agrarian area. And when it is dry season, you almost think the people do not do any other thing. They get up in the morning and can sit in front of their houses and gist and talk politics from morning till evening. 
But the moment the rain begins to come, when it comes once, twice, thrice, four times by morning, very early in the morning, the once lazy man, the once nonchalant man, suddenly becomes a diligent farmer. The rain does not speak, yet it attracts. It draws you from your house to the farm. Follow me carefully. So when the Holy Ghost comes upon a people as rain, he begins to stir up a passion. What is it about this book? I bought the book five years ago, but I've never had reason to read it. But when it comes upon you as the rain, you will go back home and search for that book as though an arm robber were coming to read it. The Holy Ghost as the rain is responsible for the refueling of passion. Refueling of passion. Hear me? There is a requisite level of passion and hunger it takes to be relevant in this season. You're not going to love God casually and do Christianity casually and preach casually. No, there is a depth of hunger. Please hear me. And it is not something you just assume. Hunger can be imparted in a man. When the Holy Ghost comes, did the Bible not say in Romans chapter 5 verse 5 that the love of God is shared abroad in our hearts not by our intention by the Holy Ghost you know people talk to me all the time and they say apostle how come you love God and you are this passionate it is the revelation of the Holy Ghost not just as fire but as the rain fire does not sink into the earth but when rain comes it enters right to the root of the earth and it draws something that it was hiding in the earth to come out. The limit of fire is the surface. But rain goes down. Right down. So when the Holy Ghost comes as rain, he penetrates your flesh. He, it looks like he's weak. But he will come in until he soaks in you a desire. A depth of hunger. And that's what God is doing in the life of somebody. Planting a hunger that you will leave this meeting and say, I'm not just a Christian. I am passionate and hungry for God. It is your hunger that will drive you to the place of prayer. It is your hunger that will drive you to the place of study. That you can open your Bible in the morning and lift your eyes and see that it's 10 p.m. And you say, my God, what happened? Hunger. Hunger is a measure of health. When people are sick, the first thing they lose is appetite. The moment you lose appetite spiritually, you need the rain. There are times that patients will not eat food, but no doctor will stop a patient from taking water because water represents life. Is, is God speaking to you? The refueling of hunger. It's amazing how easy believers can lose their hunger. It's amazing how easy preachers can lose their hunger. And, and, and it's not something to be embarrassed about. But when he comes as the rain, suddenly your five hours prayer was reduced to 20 minutes. You didn't even know when that decline started. And then he comes as rain. And one night you go to the place of prayer and come out the next day because rain came upon you. Someone prophesied, say, Lord, send the rain. Send the rain. Send the rain. Number two, very quickly. The Holy Ghost, revealed as a ray, brings forth unusual access into the mysteries and the operations of the kingdom. How many of you have driven your cars and then wind makes your vision hazy? Even though you have light, sometimes your windscreen is hazy and you will not just need a wiper, you will also need water to clarify your vision. The rain comes to take away the haziness in your spiritual understanding. Son of man, what seest thou? He says an almond tree. He said you have seen correctly. That means men can see, but it does not mean what they saw was correct. 
the Holy Ghost revealed as rain will grant you unusual access into the mysteries and the operations of the kingdom. Deuteronomy chapter 32. Let's look at three scriptures very quickly from verse 1 and 2. Deuteronomy chapter 32. Harus Kalibra has Give ear, O ye heavens, and I will speak and hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. He says, My doctrine shall drop as what? My doctrine. I will communicate a body of light to you, but it will come in the similitude of rain. And my speech shall distill as the dew. And as small rain drops upon a tender herb, and as showers upon the grass. The spirit of revelation coming as the rain. God granting you access, clarity, that you are no longer speaking opinions. You are speaking with authority. Luke chapter 4. Luke chapter 1. From verse 1 to 4, Dr. Luke was speaking and he was speaking to Theophilus and he was saying for as much as many have taken in hand to set forth in order a declaration of those things which are most surely there are things that are most surely believed there are things that are vaguely believed but others are certainly believed even as they delivered them unto us which from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the word verse 3 it seemed good to me also having what perfect understanding not vague understanding not an opinionated understanding a man can have perfect understanding of all things so you are writing from a standpoint of conviction you are teaching from a standpoint of conviction you are not hoping you are right not that you prepare a sermon write a book then go back and hope you were right. There is an outpouring that can open your eyes to perfect understanding. Verse 4 says, So that you will know the certainty of those things wherein thou hast been instructed. So that when you are given an instruction that faith works, you don't just hope because the pastor said this and I respect the pastor. There is a depth of conviction that produces persuasion. Number three. Oh, let me give us one more scripture. First Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 10. First Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 10. I'm being as simple as possible. When you read verse 9, the Bible says, as it is written, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, neither has it come into the comprehension of any man. The things that God had prepared for them that love him. Verse 10 says, but God had revealed them unto us by what? His spirit. The Bible says, for the spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. So the man, if the revelatory ministry of the spirit comes in the similitude of the rain. Like a man driving in, in the night and driving in a dusty and a hazy weather, he comes as that rain that grants you perfect understanding. You can know that this is the key to the door. You can know that this is the key to church growth. You can know that this is the key to increase. You can know that this is the key to favor. You are not hoping, my brothers and my sisters, it is my prayer that God will bring believers as individuals and territorially speaking to a level of confidence where we do not just believe God vaguely but we would have tasted and seen that his word is dependable you can know the mysteries that are responsible for the various outcomes you desire walking in abundance moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost I am favor I am walking in the moving with the 
When someone comes to your life and say, man of God, I have suffered delay. You don't just say, let's pray. You know what to do. You know that there is an allocation in the economy of God where men can regain time. And that is what you administer to that person. You don't just say, let's pray. Father, help this man to be fast in life. Amen. You are not effective. When the Holy Ghost comes as rain, the veil is taken from off our eyes. We administer the mysteries of the kingdom with mastery, with, with the showmanship of an artist. This is how to be a blessing. So when you come to me and say, Apostle, I have been plagued by witchcraft in my life. I've not been able to move for 30 years. No one has risen in our life. I don't just say, let's pray. Oh God, have mercy. That's a careless, immature Gap full spiritual life. There must be a level of quintessence and accuracy in administering life. Please look at me. Believers, we are only blessings to the degree to which we have thorough understanding of the mysteries of the kingdom. So we know what mystery is responsible for what outcome. We stop guessing and hoping that this will be right. If this person comes and says, I'm suffering from a health condition and it is a death sentence, what do I tell that person? Oh, go and read your Bible. God can heal. God can bless. But the, Jesus said, the kingdom has come. The reality that seems far, I have brought it to your domain. It is now something that you should not only hope and believe, but you should now taste and see. Listen, until the word becomes flesh, it will not dwell among us and will not be able to behold the glory. I am very passionate about studying the systems and the mysteries of the kingdom. I want to know what is responsible for what. I'll give you an instance. Come, sir. Are you getting blessed tonight? Now, watch this. Let's assume that this brother comes to me and says, Apostle, I sense that I've been under an attack. I don't know if it's a curse. I don't know if it's a yoke. Nobody in our family can rise. Nobody in our family can, you know, make progress. We're all graduates. No one is doing well. The lady is married. No children. Now, imagine this kind of scenario. And he comes to me believing that I am a representative of the government of heaven. I have so advocated it by carrying a name and carrying a title that is implicated. Now he comes to me as the closest representation of the Christ. It is up to me now to take advantage of the Holy Spirit, the ministry of the Holy Spirit as the rain, having perfect understanding. Now this man can come crying. He is representing 30 years of sorrow and yet I have advocated that God can do it. Now the kingdom is under pressure to be made manifest. I can casually pray for him and say, my brother, in the name of Jesus, I bind that spirit. I pray for you. He can even fall down while I'm praying and stand up and walk back into the same situation. Nothing changing. Not, I, it's as if the demons did not even have regard for the name that was called. Because the name of Jesus is not a charm. There is a mystery behind it that makes it work. But I can come as a representative of the government of heaven and look at him and say, my brother, I congratulate you for paying the price to come to this ground. You have finished your part. Now you sit back and watch the invincibility of the power of this kingdom we represent. And in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, 30 years comes under the jurisdiction of the Lordship of the Christ. And it's torn completely. A wilderness. This gentleman goes back before getting home. And a lot comes of a job he did not ap ap apply for. And he hears that two of his sisters are already pregnant. And then fresh fire for God comes in. Now, 
this is the kingdom coming there is no message that is more powerful than that experience when the family now gathers their testimonies are proof that the power of God has been made visible let me tell you the world that we live in now is tired of stories they want to see a manifestation of the power of God it, I will continue to study the Bible but will my family situation remain like this I'm tired of the theory of the God who can do, can bless, can heal, can lift. Where is that God that he will not show up? He says, do not say I will go to heaven to look for him. Romans chapter 5. He says the world is mighty. He has come near. The logos of God is near. Are you getting blessed? What is the implication of the Holy Spirit coming as rain? Number three. The Holy Spirit being manifest among the people as rain. Brings about multiplied dimensions of spiritual power. Multiplied dimensions of grace. Unction. Anointing. Joel chapter 2, we we'll read from verse 28, that when the Holy Ghost comes as rain, he brings about a multiplication of the possibilities of the kingdom. And it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour like water is being poured, my spirit upon all flesh. As a result, your sons and daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. We are reading to 32, the last verse. And also upon my servants and upon my handmaids, in those days I will pour out my spirit. Uh -huh. And I will show wonders. The dimension of the Holy Ghost responsible for wonders is the Holy Ghost coming as rain. Rain. The same way when it rains, pastor, sometimes you can see physical eyes dropping. And you're watching from your window with wonder sometimes when it's raining you see that it can become a flood and take even buildings the sheer power and the energy exerted when you see that the bible says wonders in the heavens and in the earth blood fires and pillars of smoke two more verses it says the sun shall be turned to darkness the moon into blood before the great and the terrible day of the lord shall come 32 and it shall come to pass that whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be delivered. And the Lord had said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call, deliverance in Zion, wonders in the heavens, as a result of the outpouring of the Spirit. Please listen to me. I pray that you observe what Pastor Shola said before I came up. That... The challenges of today cannot be solved by yesterday's anointing. Believe me, it is true. Anointing works like money. One thousand may do you well to buy you a meal, but one thousand will not pay for rent. So if your challenge is thirst, you are fine. But if your challenge is housing, you will need more than that. The kind of unique expression of darkness that is in our world today requires certain high level dimensions of graces i can tell you this as a man of god you will be confronted with situations that even though you have gained some level of maturity in christ it will shake your faith and you say i've not seen it in this fashion before levels unique expressions of oppression was told about a preacher who finished preaching a nice message powerful message on stage and fell down there right before everybody had died very powerful message what is worse than a man dying in the presence of God do you know how that would discourage the faith of many people now, you cannot say the man does not love God this man finished preaching a powerful message and so hell is reinventing its strategies 
Hell wants to make sure that one event can discourage as many people. The devil does not just want to manufacture events. He wants to brand it with such darkness that with one event, it would take a year's evangelism to recover those people. So we also need to rise to dimensions of grace where one spectacular operation of the spirit, like what will happen to someone tonight, will be a testimony that for one year it will keep saving souls. One year, one year, you will be, you will be sharing it every day and yet people will not be tired. Is it not the resurrection of Jesus that we've been sharing since we were born until today is still fresh? Because no one else could bring himself back to life. There are dimensions of the move of the spirit that will happen in this day and age. Please hear me. And I pray that it happens through your hands. Bible history has it. St. Patrick, one of the great men that God used. True story. That there was a man who had been dead for a long time. I think over six months or so. And believers got a hold of a dimension of the word of God. And they got angry. They went to a grave with someone that had died, become bones, become all of that. And they were praying and they got angry. Because they felt from the revelation God gave them that the man dead did not finish his assignment. And it was said that St. Patrick came and took a stone and wrote his signature. And said they should dig. They brought the man out bones that had Ezekiel 37 said son of man can this bones it was not a parable there were realities in the realm of the spirit body of Christ we must step up our trust in God otherwise we ourselves will start fighting what God is doing because it will be too high for our level of faith to receive. There were times that God worked certain spectacular miracles. And even among the people they doubted, what is all this? The Spirit of God. Who can make a virgin without a man conceive a child? Who can make two children to be talking while before they were, they were born? Please do not downplay the power of the Holy Ghost as well. He's coming upon people to turn ordinary people. Is he not the one that turned the generals, the ones we so talked about? They were ordinary men, but they stood before that rain. It is raining all around me. I can hear it. Some years ago, I was in a meeting and the person who wrote this song was giving the testimony of how the song came about. And he said it was at a time where they were in a moment of prayer, trusting God for revival. They were praying and praying and praying and suddenly the song came as a token of God's answer to say that write this and be sure the rain is coming. There's going to be a great awakening. There's going to be a great revival in our land. There's going to be a great awakening. And everyone who calls on Jesus. Let me give us one more. The outpouring of the Holy Spirit as a ray brings about unusual dimensions of wealth, prosperity, abundance, and fruitfulness. Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2. 
from verse 24 and then we'll read 26. Joel chapter 2. An unusual outpouring. Let's start from 23. 23 says, please give it to us from 23. It says, be glad ye children and so on and so forth for he had given you the former rain moderately and he will cause to come for you the rain, the former and the latter rain in our first month, 24. It says, and the floors shall be full of wheat. So the rain will not only affect sons and daughters. The rain will not, in fact, when you read the sequence, is that the floors were first affected before the men. The men started in verse 28. It says, the floors shall be full of wheat and the fat shall overflow with wine and oil. Uh-huh. And I will restore to you the years and so on and so forth. 26. And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God that had dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. Please look up. I hope you realize by now that every time we talk about wealth and prosperity and abundance, we are speaking from a kingdom perspective. It will be unfortunate if there are still believers now who are yet to reconcile the role that kingdom wealth and prosperity has to play, has always played, and will continue to play in the revelation of the Christ upon the earth. When we talk about wealth and prosperity and abundance as kingdom people, it's beyond just buying clothes and buying cars. That the name of the Lord is heavy to take resources to keep it lifted. And we must lift it high enough for the nations to see that Christ has been exalted and he's been made both Lord and Christ. And it will require resources. The lie of the devil, many times, and this has eaten into the church, is that wealth and abundance does not have any active role. The reason is because we look at it from a selfish perspective. I can choose to live a mediocre life, not needing resources for anything. That's all right. But when you talk about kingdom come, you will need resources. This program was put up not just because of the availability of intention and hands, but only God can tell the amount of resources. Was it not Satan that paid people to say Jesus is not alive? He paid. He is still paying today. But there is a generation that will receive that investment of the spirit and come with resources resources with intention not just carnality and, and, and showing that you have money Jesus you believe that's what we'll do with resources from the north to the south the east to the west Jesus you Because of economic challenges, it's brought a serious distraction to their focus. It's a terrible thing to go to the secret place and be thinking about money. It's distracting. It's a terrible thing for your pulpit to become a center for talking about money every service. But people will have to resort to doing that if there is no economic advantage that comes from the intelligence of the spirit. So when he comes, he will bring to us a blueprint. Was it not the spirit of God that showed Joseph the formula that made for survival in the seven years of famine? Joseph did not just see it by intellectual prowess. It came to him by the spirit. And in these days, there are financial apostles that are rising once again. Listen to me. 
I have seen it. I have thought on it. That individuals who will build churches and say, don't even announce it. Man of God, what is your budget for this year? For next year? This is it. Focus on the ministry of prayer and the word. Not discussions and not arguments about money. That you would not just draw a lady and say, stop prostitution. But you say, stop prostitution. But I fix your life in a way and a manner that will make prostitution look like an insult to your life. We are called out of into. We are not called out of and left there. The economy of God calls men out of a system into another system. But it must be economically prepared. Are we blessed? I made up my mind, Pastor, and, and, and I've shared this with you, that I will never pastor a people. It is true that the signature grace and the anointing and the call is that which inspires people into intimacy with the Holy Spirit and opens them up to the revelation of the mysteries of the kingdom and then allows people to experience the supernatural workings of God. This is what is committed to us and will remain faithful. But in addition to that, I will never pastor a people who only love God and are passionate, carrying the anointing and are economically depraved. I would have wasted their time. The plague of poverty will erode the sacrifices. All of the sacrifice of godliness will almost be tortured to death. Do not downplay the role that poverty and hardship will play in strangling your spiritual life. Are we together? There are people who have dabbled into things they should not have. Not because they do not know the pressure of finances. There is, there is a real financial renaissance that is coming to the body of Christ. What we have seen now that we celebrate as the Lord has shown me and supported by scripture is only trickles, tests of faithfulness to see if we are qualified. Moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. There are men who will be committed the wealth of nations in the hands of individuals. Are we blessed? I have to pray for us. But let me see if I can just run the other two quickly. Number five. The Holy Spirit being revealed as a rain means supernatural dimensions of wealth. Okay, let me give you scriptures. Wealth, prosperity, and abundance. Leviticus chapter 26 and verse 4. Please write it quickly so that we'll just go straight into the prayer and I just speak over your life and we're done. Leviticus chapter 26 and 26 and verse 4. Leviticus 26 and verse 4. Then I will give you rain in due season and the land shall yield her increase. Oh, it's gone. And the trees of the field shall yield their fruit. They will only yield at the instance of the rain. Hallelujah. So when rain comes upon you, it brings forth abundance. Deuteronomy 11 and verse 14. Deuteronomy chapter 11 and verse 14. I give you this scripture so that your faith will not be founded upon the wisdom of men. It says, I will give you the rain of your land in its due season. The first rain and the latter rain. That thou mayest gather in thy corn and thy wine and thy oil. It's amazing that wine and oil too depend on rain. Hallelujah. Next, number five now. Supernatural restoration. When the Holy Ghost is poured up upon a people as rain, it brings about supernatural restoration. Spiritual restoration, material restoration, Joel chapter 2 and verse 25. Just write it down. It says, I will restore to you the years. Let me tell you, when the Holy Ghost comes, he can bring restoration. Yes, sir. How many people lose their crops and lose, maybe their shops are boggled and their grains are stolen and they look forward to the rainy season as a consolation. 
when the rainy season comes, they go to sow again because they know that God can use that rainy season to bring them a restoration of that which was lost. Number six. Now, this is interesting. When the Holy Ghost comes upon a man and individuals as rain, it brings judgment upon people, territories, and nations that oppose God's agenda. Genesis chapter 7 and verse 4. This is a dimension of the rain that now will, is an interesting dimension. That the rain is not only just pleasant, the rain can also be destructive. And it says, for yet seven days, I will yet cause it to rain upon the earth. This is Noah. Forty days and forty nights. And every living substance that I have made, I will destroy from off the face of the earth. Now, look at this. The rain of God has a judgment dimension. Not to you. It shows you all of these things have missed it. But then it now turns and the Holy Ghost can bring havoc and judgment to everything that is antichrist in a man's life. The rain. Many of us have seen the same rain we talk about that make plans to come out. The same rain can sweep buildings. The same rain can capsize ships that carry cars. Rain! It's not only a blessing. Rain can be dangerous. So judgment upon the people. When rain came in the days of Noah, it was lifting Noah and the animals higher and it was bringing every other person down. Simultaneously, at the same time, a few people were rising from that flood, but others were going down. And he took them and dropped them upon a rock called Mount Ararat. And every other thing that was not in that boat died. Let me tell you this. Very soon, God is about to speak in this nation and across Africa. When God is silent, understand that his silence is a language. There are times that God allows the boast of men to reach his zenith. And then he now echoes from heaven. And says, who is that man who did not create the heavens and the earth? And yet makes a boast as though we did it together. Listen to me. Rain can make a statement. When there is serious rain, it comes with thunder. It doesn't come alone. You may not hear the sound of the rain. But thunder always follows a serious rain. And sometimes that thunder can strike once and produce havoc. Bible says, why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? That the kings of the earth, they set up themselves against God that is anointed. So that they will, you know, wage destruction. He said, but God shall laugh from his throne. And then in his derision, he will speak. God is about to make a statement upon the earth. Kings have risen in their arrogance and have attempted to take the place of God. And for a long time, he would keep quiet. But then when he watches the pride and the folly of men, in his majesty, he will echo once and recycle obedience and honor and allow another rebellion to rise again. The God of heaven is not threatened by the foolishness of men. Let me tell you this. The God of the universe was not voted into power. His very throne is like a law court. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne. He does not just sit as king. He sits also as a judge. And he can send rain. The Bible tells us in Exodus chapter 9 and verse 23. Please give us Exodus chapter 9 and verse 23. It says, and Moses, this was the judgment in Egypt. And Moses stretched forth his rod towards heaven. And the Lord sent what? Thunder and hail. And fire ran along upon the ground. And the Lord rained hail upon the land of Egypt. God can rain. Rain doesn't always have to be water. But it can be rain. God can rain down words. God can rain down judgment. 
The same water that was parted, heat and tether, was the same water that provided the moisture that put down the chariots of Pharaoh. The moisture that refused to allow, they were moving on dry ground. Suddenly, when Pharaoh came with his chariots, according to the song of Miriam, God made moisture to now cause the tires to begin to misbehave. I will sing unto the Lord, for he have triumphed gloriously. The horses and his riders have been thrown into the sea. You will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horses and his riders have been thrown into the sea. On one side, God is lifting you. On another side, God is shutting the mouth of those who say, can God help people in this family? Happening at the same time. Listen, fear a man who God has invested his jealousy in. You will be talking and God will allow you to finish running your mouth. Then God will carefully honor the person in your presence. Ask her man. What shall be done to a man who has done this? And her man thought it was him. So he made the best choice. And he said immediately, go and do so to Mordecai. Move with the chariot you desired. And shout to everybody, bow the knee. That this is what should be done with a man who finds favor with the king. Let me speak over someone tonight. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. I prophesy to you that from tonight, that everything that should work in your, to your disadvantage, I overturn, I overturn, and I turn it to your favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please sit down. When her man went home and told his wife the tragic story, she only asked him one question. She said, who is this man? And he said, Mordecai, the Jew, he said, you are finished. You fought a covenant, not a man. That means this is not even all. There is more to come. Listen, there are men who God will insist until they rise because he will remember the covenant and the vow of his mercy. He will remember that you served in this conference. He will remember that you swept the altar. He will remember you sowed your seed and he will send that rain. It is true. Let me stop here. What does it take to experience the rain? Let me give you three keys quickly. Number one, the first requirement to experience the manifestation of the Holy Ghost as the rain is genuine hunger for more of God. Isaiah 44 and verse 3. Please give it to us very quickly. Isaiah chapter 44 and verse 3. It says, For I will pour water not on him that is full, on him that is thirsty, and floods upon dry ground. And I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thy offspring. Requirement number one, hunger. Genuine hunger. Lord, I desire to see your glory. I desire to see the rain come upon my life. Hunger. And let me tell you, if there are people who are hungry tonight, then I assure you, you are not going back home the same. Number two. What does it take to experience the rain? A determination to see his kingdom come in your life, across lives, and across territories. Reminds me of the passion of Pastor Shola, Pastor Shegu, and all the pastors that have put this meeting together. Why would they leave their various churches in the comfort of what God is doing in their lives? And then stand in partnership with all the servants of God in this city who have their own work and they are thriving and doing well, to come together and call for a convergence. It is a desire to see his kingdom come. Psalm 63. It says, O oh Lord my God. Psalm 63. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. 
my flesh longed for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. Verse 2 says, to see your power and your glory as I have seen in the sanctuary. You must have a determination. A determination. Lord, I'm tired of seeing sick people go back sick. I'm tired of seeing oppressed people. I'm tired of sharing the grace and watching people go back the way they came. As a man of God, the Holy Ghost is attracted to not only your hunger, but your desire not to make a name. Your desire not for fame. Not to be called apostle and prophet and all of these things. Let me tell you the truth. God sees my heart and you are spiritual people. It is never my desire for fame to make a name. You know, thank God for all the clap and all these things you do for me. But sometimes I just come and sit down and I just say thank God for it. And my mind is completely not there. All I want to see is the reality of Christ revealed in the lives of people. I want to see them stand from wheelchairs. I want to see the dead come back to life. I want to see age-long captivities go down. I want to see territories bow to the Lordship of Christ. That's my passion. That's my obsession. That's what I live for. That's what I will die for if need be. If all you want is power, you will not get it. Let me just tell you up front. If all you want is to use God to be famous, um, you may not do business with God in this season. God is looking for people who are not afraid of standing behind the cross to say, if he's the one who is seen, no problem. Just use me, oh God. That's all I want. If nobody knows me, no problem. Apostle Joshua Selman is not as important as the mighty hand of God that will come and bless people. If you are not ashamed of decreasing so that you will increase. It's been my prayer every time. As the world celebrates me and celebrates what God is doing in my life, I'm humbled. But it's a difficult thing to be me. Because on one side, there are claps that can throw you to your grave. But on another side, there is a higher call. And God is saying, compared to where you need to go, you are just one step out of the cave. Do not be distracted, my dear son. There are still lands to conquer. There are still dimensions. As far as I'm concerned, what we are doing now is industrial attachment. It will soon start. When he's done with us, furnished by the hand of God, thoroughly worked upon by the Spirit, all the areas that kill the fathers and the patriarchs, God is revealing it to us. I'm building a fortification in us. If pride killed them, he's teaching us something about pride now. If loss killed them, he's teaching us something about loss now. So that when we come out, we're a formidable army. That what threw them down is what will climb upon. Because we have, we have climbed their shoulders and received the intelligence that makes for sustenance. At the end of it, Christ be revealed in and through our lives. Listen, you must be desperate to see Christ revealed. I didn't just step into the realm of seeing visions and seeing, you know, things about people. Honestly, it was never my desire to access any prophetic grace. All I wanted was, God, is there a more effective way to help me in administering your power and your glory to people? That was it. I was not looking for, oh God, give me power so that I can see and call names and See, when your desire becomes, oh God, why is this church seven months and it's not completed? What does it take to complete it? You are calling the economy the hand of God that prospers. You don't call these spiritual things by just calling them. You call them by calling what you will do with them. Why do you want the anointing? Why do you want the grace? Why do you want the faith? Why do you want to speak and things begin to happen? If you've suffered a psychological breakdown growing up, what you need is a revelation of the word, not ministry. But I've vowed and I've made my commitment under God that forever 
my life and my desire purified by my hunger for God that I will continue to serve him and I will continue to desire that his glory comes do you know I made up my mind pastor sir, and I made a commitment that if I ever meet a man like I have the opportunity to meet you and you go back the same I don't deserve to see you again if you have to meet me twice to be blessed then God should use someone else to bless you because it's proof that I'm wasting your time. It's the pressure that you put on yourself to be effective. Jesus met people once and their life changed. Imagine how many times we have met people and told them change is coming. <laughs> no, sir. That everywhere you are, God is in experience. And the reality of his person can be proven here and now. Burdens lifted. Lives changed. Hunger provoked in people. The tokens that follow his presence follow you like a shadow as proof that he is with you and you are with him. And then number three. What does it take to experience the move of the spirit as the rain. Prayer. Desperate heart cry. Desperate prayer. Psalm 64 from verse 1 and 3. 1 to 3. Psalm 64. Hear my voice, O God, in my prayer. Preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. We're reading to verse 3. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Verse 3. It says, Who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words that can be sent. Zechariah chapter 10 and verse 1. And then we'll look at James chapter 5. Now, these two scriptures are very, very instructive. He said, Zechariah 10 and verse 1, Ask ye of the Lord rain in the time of rain, so the Lord shall make bright clouds and give you showers of rain. He said, Ask ye of the Lord rain. When you discern it is the time of rain. I'm hurrying up. J James chapter 5. We'll read from verse 16 to 18. The Bible is teaching us about prayer. James chapter 5. The 16, the B part says, The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Then he now uses Elijah to personify the ministry of prayer and how that ministry, prayer can send rain and it can shut rain. He says, Elijah was a man subject to like passions as we are and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain. And it rained not on the earth for a space of six years I mean, three years and six months. Uh huh. 18. And he prayed again, and the heavens gave rain. Stop. When you pray, the heaven can give rain. When you pray, the heaven can give rain. You can pray yourself into a rainy season. You can pray out dry season from your life. You don't have to wait until it comes because it does not work the way it works agriculturally speaking. You pray and change seasons in your life. Lord, I'm tired of this barrenness as a man of God. I tell people you are blessed, they are not blessed. I tell people you are lifted, they are not lifted. I prophesy and everything I said was wrong. I'm tired of this haziness. Send me rain. Send rain from heaven. And you begin to pray. And let me tell you this. Prayer truly brings rain. And when it brings that rain, it will drench you in a way and manner. You see, the thing with rain is, it's impossible. Fire can burn your hand and I may not know. But it's impossible for rain to come on you and nobody knows. Even if you have an umbrella, it will show you. The Holy Ghost has rain. There is no flood until there is rain. The wilderness does not produce flood. There is rain. The Lord wants to reveal himself. Please hear me, Abel Kuta. 
And hear me, dear precious people of God. There are dimensions of the Holy Spirit that He wants to bring in our lives. Captured as the rain. And in the next few minutes that we have to pray, I want you to be desperate that everything the rain can wash must be washed away from my life. You don't wash clothes with oil. Hello? Please look up. You do not wash clothes with oil. You don't wash clothes with fire. You wash clothes with water. When water comes, it also means you can purify. You can bring a newer version of that cloth. Where it was stained yesterday with the ministry of water, you no longer may see the stain again. The rain is about to come and erode certain things from your life and bring in other newness. That's what God wants to do right now. Taking the pain and the sorrow away, you've given me peace on the There's no need to cry, cause you're always with me. You're my father, my everything. Oh, man, my. the rain. Lord, you took my pain away, and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to me. away the memory of yesterday you are here and the devil continues to haunt you yes i know that last year you were not serious with god yes i know that even before you came here your life may not be the best representation but the beauty of rain is that it can wash away the old he said remember not the former things nor consider the things that are before i behold i do a new thing your voice in one minute. Send the rain, oh God. Send the rain, oh God. Let that rain bring abundance. Let that rain restore my hunger. Shela parato sabikata. Abel put a cry for the rain. Let it come in ministry. Let it come in business. Please pray. Pray. Se la barato si adana balada balada. Mantles are falling here tonight. Anointings are falling.
the blood of Jesus or because Jesus died? What is, what is your confidence that you will celebrate Christmas in 2014? In this wickedness that we have, Boko Haram doing everything, what is your exemption? What are you standing on that exempts you? Are you seeing why I'm... There are principles, brothers and sisters. Longevity. Different people want to live long. I had to study for myself. I told myself, I said, oh boy, if you want to live long, you better find out what the Bible has put. And number one is honor to parents. He said, honor your father and your mother. Every time I want to travel, I'll call my mother and say, how are you? God bless you. And I know my journey is safe. For sure. Number two, he said, I shall not die, but live to declare. That means if you are not declaring her, I shall not die. There is an immunity that comes upon me because I'm an envoy advocating the agenda of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Number three, I said before you life and death, blessing and cursing, but I advise you choose life that you may live. I chose it. I chose it absolutely. Hallelujah. Are you getting what I'm saying now? So it is on the strength of this revelation. You can say in the name of Jesus. I know. I know. Hallelujah. What is your scriptural basis of believing that you will live in hell? Just because you are bearing a Christian name? No. Brothers and sisters, no. Just because you went to school? There is a basis. There is a basis. Hallelujah. He said, I will let none of these diseases that came upon the Egyptians to come upon you. But there is a reason. He said, no inhabitant in Zion shall say, I am sick. He said, if that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in your mortal body, that same spirit will quicken, revitalize, make alive. Hallelujah. Obedience. We must pay attention. He said, my son, pay attention to my words. Incline your ears to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your heart. Keep them in the midst from your mouth. Keep them in the midst of your heart. He said, they are life, not to Christians, to those who care to find them and help to their flesh. Hallelujah. Let's hurry up. So that's the third reason why things don't go well with people. The fourth reason, which is most important, is demonic oppression. The Bible tells us that the whole world lies in wickedness. And I've said it again and again. Don't let anybody play church games with you and deceive you with suit. We live in a wicked world. The condition to be a prospective victim of wickedness is that you are born of a woman. As simple as that. You don't need to offend anybody. The whole world lieth in wickedness. We live in a very wicked world. Someone can look at you and vow and say, over my dead body, it will not be well with you. Ah, ah, they looked at Jesus Christ. What did he do? They sat down and held a meeting to kill him. And Jesus said, if they have done it unto me, they will do it to you. Hallelujah. That means you must learn how to keep the devil where he belongs. That's why he gave us power. Hallelujah. Psalm 66 verse 3. It says, how all inspiring are your ways through the greatness of thy power. Not through making noise and wearing suit. Through the greatness of your power will your enemies submit themselves. Hallelujah. Many of us have been deceived. This is a nice world. Don't trouble Satan. Satan will not trouble you. And you don't say, I'm not looking for anybody's trouble. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. The whole world lies in wickedness. After struggling for five years to get a job, you now get the job and somebody looks at you and says, I don't like you. You didn't do anything wrong. I just don't like you. And as long as I'm in this office, because for one position for promotion, there are 10 or 5 people qualified. Everybody is going to their own babalao and you are there strolling. 
believing because you are you have a christian name brothers and sisters please wake up as we approach the coming of christ the fierceness of evil becomes stronger and it is they that know their god daniel eleven thirty two. they that know their god they that not they that have heard about him they that know their god shall be strong you see all these people gathered here it will take God opening your eyes to see the satanic plots to stop people from coming for this meeting. But it takes an authority. Oh, this is the part about the kingdom I like. I love the fact that our, the kingdom we live in is not some kingdom full of fear and timidity. It's a kingdom of power and authority. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I remember a woman came to me for counseling one time when she was about she got married newly you know and 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 that was quite some decades ago and she couldn't have a child so she went to a stream somewhere you know and all kinds of things were done for her and they told her make sure you have a daughter and before that daughter gets married make sure you return her and the woman said you may have been dead by that time he said see my son and he pointed one small boy who was just playing around he said by that time this boy will now be the priest return her so that something will be done hallelujah now the lady graduated and the women advised the mother and say madam we know you are a christian but this world we are living in just quietly go who will know just go and settle this thing and come back there are many people under all kinds of yokes who have been made to believe that once you are born again everything is over brothers and sisters it is true that in christ the old is supposed to have gone but satan will not just release you at a platter of gold it will take enforcing what christ has done for him to let you go hallelujah and pharaoh refused to let them go after nine plagues although god had given the command pharaoh refused to let them go hallelujah and then in the book of exodus he said, one more plague will I bring upon Pharaoh and upon Egypt. After that, he will let you go. One more plague. Hallelujah. I'm glad to announce to you tonight, the devil must give up on you finally. There are many women suffering barrenness. Many people suffering all kinds of sicknesses. There are many of us, we are sitting here laughing, but nothing is working in our homes. It's not like you are not, the day you just announce in the family that there is a project, that's the day everything will scatter. Let God bless the family with small resources. Everybody gets sick until the money finishes. Then they will become fine by themselves. I was diagnosed. I've shared my story. Some of you were born in nice families. They took care of you. The devil never oppressed you. That's why you have not understood the implication. I was diagnosed of a fungal infection I had no account of. Just appeared. This head you are seeing was literally rotting. And they told me hair will never grow on my head again. I know what evil. The That's why I will live every day. One of my life's mission is to give hell a headache till I transit to celebrate with Jesus Christ. Mm. That my waking up every morning must be a nightmare to the kingdom of darkness. Hallelujah. There was nothing. This sponge, this hard sponge you scrub the back of pot with, they used it to scrub my head. Blood was coming out. It was not out of wickedness. It was out of frustration. Oh, I know what wickedness looks like, brothers and sisters. Let me tell you. The students complained that I was irritating them in the dining hall. And so they stopped me. They banned me from going to the dining hall because I was irritating the students. When it's time for food, I will give somebody my plate and beg them to please help me and collect food. And I will stay alone. Ha! There is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the
the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There was a season in my family, people were dying like chickens. Look, let me tell you something. My grandfather, for some of you who are around the north, my grandfather, they were the trustees and the founders of Church of Christ in Nigeria. I come from a, a lineage of missionaries, but it did not solve the problem in my family. Are you getting my point? All the firstborns, I saw the, I saw the pattern. They became useless people. Either they got a lady pregnant out of wedlock or something happened that scattered their lives and reduced them into tears. I, my father's elder brother died at a particular age range. My father's younger brother died at that same time. Just thank God that by the time my father was getting around that range, we had gotten the revelation. Look, let me tell you. Dr. Pastor Paul Enche said, this world is not a playground, it's a battlefield. If you don't adjust your mind fast, you will be in for a rude shock. Are you getting what I'm saying? I remember some years ago, someone got married. Hallelujah. And we went for the wedding in Kaduna. I'll never forget this. Quite, quite some years ago. And when we went for the wedding, they had a step, they had a stepmother. True story. True story. There was a stepmother. And we noticed that people were dancing and dropping gifts. Please listen. People were dropping all kinds of gifts. And when they had finished, you know, they were about to pack the gifts. We noticed that the guy's stepmother just came. A small gift that looked like a, a small bucket. You know, this bucket you put flour or sugar inside. And just wrapped it and dropped it. And when I looked at it, another brother too saw it. I said, Kai, because we were going to pray for the wedding gifts. And I insisted that we open this thing and see what is inside. When we opened it, what did we see? A white bucket. They just put a stone inside and closed it. God is my witness. Welcome to planet earth where all kinds of people are permitted to live. Those who love God, those who hate God, and those who hate you. And if you don't do anything about it, they will take you to the grave. Hallelujah. Many families, let me tell you, are suffering this. Mysterious sicknesses and diseases that they cannot explain. Just comes upon a man and a family. There are some of us here. You just went to the hospital for tests and they told you you have HIV. You have lived, you, you lived a pure life. Hallelujah. Something has happened in the realm of the spirit. I remember somebody, I think it was here. He's on video. That he slept quietly. And in the night, somebody appeared to him with a syringe and said, this is HIV virus. Injected it into him and he woke up physically with HIV. I'm not scaring you. I'm letting you know that if you are not aware that this devil is not your friend. Are you getting what I'm saying? Somebody suffers in school. You now finish school, you go and serve. You graduated with first class or two and five years down the line, there's no decent job. No decent job. You want a job, the manager is saying you know what to do. And now you want to keep your Christian integrity, but you don't know how to command the forces of darkness to bow. You now announce in your family that God is calling me to be a pastor. From that day, your whole life is tied into pieces. Everything you do does not work. Brothers and sisters, I don't celebrate Satan and evil, but I'm letting you know there is evil in this world right now. But there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. It's in the name of Jesus. There is power. In the name of Jesus It's to break every chain Break every chain Hallelujah I shared with us the testimony Brothers and sisters, if not that I saw this woman I would think it's a lie 
I've heard about it, but I, I, was to, I was to experience it for myself. A woman who gave birth to a dead baby that came out half man, half monkey. Half man, half monkey with hair. If not that I was sitting face to face with this woman, if I had another man of God say it, I may join those saying this is a lie, some exaggeration just to make the message look powerful. I've seen all kinds of evil. But in the name that is above all names, there is an authority that must command the forces to bow. See, this is what happens to people. And you find out that one breakthrough will just open every area of your life. Are you seeing? Many of us are struggling. You are trying to fight your health. You are trying to fight this, whereas there is a root problem. If that problem is not dealt with, you may be healed, but it will appear as something else. I hope you know that every believer is likened to a tree. How do you make a tree healthy? Do you clean the leaves? You add fertilizer at the root. How do you destroy a tree? You deal with the root. The Bible says the righteous is like a palm tree. Is that true? This is the mystery of total breakthrough. You must see every man like a tree. You waste your time trying to remove the leaves at once. When you address the problem, it's like somebody who is complaining of headache, but the real issue is typhoid fever. You can take Panadol again and again. You will receive temporary relief. But tonight, some things will be totally settled in the name of Jesus Christ. You will find out one area of your life and then marriage opens up. Then job opens up. Then your academic opens up. And that's when you say, goodness. So this is it. A dear lady of ours, even while I was in Abuja last week, I, I met with her. This lady had worked for four years. Very hardworking lady. She was here, I remember that time. It's on video also. One fair lady that came from Abuja and I prayed for her. This lady for four years she had been working. No promotion, no benefits, no nothing. Every area of her life was grounded. I prayed for this lady and she went back to Abuja and her boss looked at her. He said, come, you've been working in this place. What has been done for you? Right now, this lady follows the boss and travels with him everywhere. When her friends heard about it, they say it's because you are fine. She says, have I not been here four years with the same pretty face? Nothing changes by itself till you force it to change. It will change one day is a dream. If you force it, it will change. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are many of us, you are standing outside. Students, you are, you are suffering. Things are not working. People think you are dull, but you are not dull. You enter the exam hall, you blank out. And then you will do tutorials and be helping others. When they are marking scripts, your script gets missing. The wickedness. The Bible says, while men slept, an enemy came and planted tears with the wheat and ran away. There are all kinds of people. Lumps, fibroids, barrenness, cysts, all kinds of nonsense all around. Until you know the might of God, you will keep getting afraid of Satan. But when you know who God is, you will know once and for all that this devil, he was created and that he can submit to the authority of his creator. Who am I speaking to tonight? Is your season for real change. You can see, you can sit down and watch others. There are many of our sisters here as you're sitting down right now. It's not like you are not pretty. It's not like you are not virtuous. You have done everything. You have read every book. You've knelt down for every man to greet them, but no marriage. Something is wrong. It even becomes a terrible situation when it's the man that doesn't have a wife to marry. And this is it's easy to understand for the ladies because they position themselves to be found. What of the man? Hallelujah. But the Lord prepared this apostolic and prophetic platform to end these assaults of darkness in our lives. Listen, many of us are the only saviors of our parents right now and our families. You know we believe in family in this place, right? Your salvation is not complete until the members. He said, as for me and my house. 
Hallelujah. Every one of us standing here came from a family. And let me tell you, no matter how blessed you are, if your family is not changed, for many years, my father was grounded at his place of work. His juniors were being promoted. Everything was working for others except him. This man was almost dying of high blood pressure. And one day I got angry and we had to settle the issue. Tonight, God will settle some families. So please take what I'm saying seriously. I'm speaking like this because shortly we are going to pray. Hallelujah. There are some of you, anytime somebody wants to bless you, something will happen to that person and just scatter him. Somebody says, I want to bless your family. Everything becomes grounded. There are some of us who are in ministry. You have done everything you know. Groundbreaking, prophetic match round everything. Nothing is growing. But Jesus Christ brought us here tonight so that we can experience his victory. Hallelujah. And in a few minutes, we have to pray before I begin to minister. Brothers and sisters, I want you to pray and say, Father, visit me. I didn't just come to watch others and clap. Hallelujah. The power of God is present to heal. No matter what the sickness is, no matter what the sickness is, believe. Is it cancer? Is it HIV? Is it fibroid? Is it genotype issue? No matter what it is. You are stranded in whatever area of your life. Please position yourself. Because God is about to do mighty things right now. No matter how far you are inside or outside, talk to the Lord. Don't be joking. This is about your destiny. This is your chance for a change of story. Say, Lord, I'm tired. I'm tired of clapping for others. Lord, visit me. I want to make progress in my life. But there are forces that tie me down. Lord, it's the season where you will increase my greatness. I'm tired of this terminal disease. Tired of this cancer. They've told me I have days to live. I'm tired of walking on a wheelchair. I'm tired of this blindness. Tired of this deafness. Tired of this sickle cell anemia. Jesus, you died and already paid the price. You paid the price already. Oh yes, Jesus paid the price with his blood. He paid the price already. It was paid in full. He paid the price for that cancer to live. He paid the price for that HIV to dry up. He paid the price for that barren womb to be fruitful. He paid the price. He paid the price. Go ahead and pray. And say, Jesus, you have paid the price. Jesus, you have paid the price. For the deliverance of my family. We are tired of this hardship. It's not your will for us to continue in this hardship. And Lord, like Jacob, we hold on to you tonight. We will not let you go till you change our story. Come on, pray, Koinonia. We will not let you go. Those outside, are you praying? Lord, change my story. Academically, I'm tired of writing jam again and again and again and again and again. Change my story. Change my story. You already paid the price. You already paid the price. Oh, hallelujah. He has paid the price. Hallelujah. He paid it with the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is the price. The price. The devil must let you go. The blood has been shed already. Jesus said, it is finished. That cancer is finished. HIV is finished. The devil may not want to let you go, but you will enforce the word. 
the bible says how forcible are right words how forcible are right words how forcible rise up on your feet everybody and begin to blast in tongues and say my time has come my time has come oh god my time has come tonight you will visit me as your blessing man let your eyes see me oh god as your changing stories visit me visit me visit me visit me visit me oh god that epilepsy must die tonight that yoke of financial hardship hallelujah hallelujah i believe hallelujah hallelujah the power of god is in this place i believe lord i believe listen 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 let me tell you something hallelujah the man who laid down at bethesda he'd been like that for 38 years there is a way a situation has been so long in your life even when they are telling you god would change it you say lord change the rest tonight do not leave any stone unturned are you getting my point whatever it is you're trusting god for many of us left different states many of us left different local governments i like you to pray and say lord for this and that and that area of my life he must give way to yes lord it must give way tonight it must give way. The power of God is already moving across this place. Goodness. Oh, she Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Powers that hold your hands and tie your destiny must let you go. Yeah. Hallelujah. I see miracle everywhere. Miracle everywhere. I see miracles everywhere right now, right miracles. We see miracles. Lord, we see miracles right now. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Listen, listen, listen to me. I tell you there is a strong spirit of faith in this place. Listen, listen, please listen to me first. Many of you will be surprised what will happen to you right now. Hallelujah. God is going to the root of people's issues. It's not just sickness or this. Please believe me. The the Lord kept telling me this again and again. The root, the root of the issue. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I'm about to pray right now. I'm about to pray inside and outside. There will be such a release of the forcible power. You can't stand it. No. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of your son, 
there are forces of darkness that are responsible for the tears of many people and families and Lord in the name of Jesus as we shout that name let there be such a move my God my God lift your hands at the count of three I like you to shout the name Jesus as you shout that name devils will leave right now one two three the power of God right now I command forces forces of darkness yokes yokes of darkness yokes bring them out the fire of God is falling I challenge altars Outside, the power of God is falling outside. Activity of witches and wizards. Right now, Satan in The devil must let you go tonight. Oh, Lift your hands. Hallelujah. I see a number of people inside and outside. And I see chains all over you. Chains. As you shout this name. It's already happening to people right now. As I speak. As I shout that name Jesus. When you shout it. Many of you will hear sounds. Of physical chains dropping. Are you ready now? At the count of three. One. Two, three, Jesus! I give the chains. Those outside, lift your hand. Just those outside. Those outside, lift your hand. Hallelujah. I see the angels of the Lord moving outside. Lift your hands. Those outside, you're going to shout Jesus. There will be such a move of fire, physical fire outside. Are you ready now? Those outside. One, two, three. How about that? Go, 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 Hallelujah. Lift your hands. The spirit of delay. 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 The Lord is talking to me now. Hallelujah. The power of God will fall on certain people. Straight up. God is killing the spirit of delay. And I see this row. The angel of the Lord is standing upon this road. Right now in the name of Jesus. 
the spirit of delay cross this road go 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 Gabriel, 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 please let's save time. The Lord is showing me witchcraft. This is serious witchcraft. Gabriel, outside, that guy is outside. You are wearing something like green, greenish, like flowery something green. Where is that? You, do you know me? Come and stand here. Your, your, your time your time has come please stand up stand up let's save time I give the chains the chains falling she take a papa tapa tapa then great tapa take a lebo shotaba go patalaba let her go now you are a devil of darkness release her family now Release our family now. Release our family now. I need a chance. Hallelujah. Look at me. My brother, I need to pray for you. There's nothing working in your life. Is that true? Look at me. Absolutely nothing. People just see you and see you dressing well. There is not financial, nothing is working. Look at me. You are a sincere person. Are you getting my point? You have cried. You have cried. There's nothing you have not done. But tonight, God wants to change your story. Bring that lady. Because I see her going through the same thing this guy is going through. Bring her. Let her go now and forever. In Jesus' name. Go! Jesus Christ, I prophesy to you, look at me. Things will so change and turn around in your life, you will be surprised. You believe this? Father, let it be done in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing military uniform. Who is a soldier? Who is a soldier around you? I'm seeing his I live in the barracks. You live in a barrack because I'm seeing military uniform. Hallelujah. God is going to help you. Huh? You need the help of God. You have gotten to a point where you have done the best by yourself. It will take God to help you. Hallelujah. Victoria. 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 The Lord is showing me a name, Victoria. We may not call everybody Victoria. Victoria. Ah, well, I believe when God speaks to one, he speaks to all. Where's the person I was talking to? He has gone? I've not finished, my brother. Hallelujah. Come. We're going to break the course. This, this is, I'm saying this is, this is a yoke of darkness. Please hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, we break this evil right now. <laughs> Madam, I'm looking at you, but I'm seeing a man. I'm not seeing a woman. I'm looking at you, I'm seeing a man. The power of God is going to come upon a lady now. There will be a loud shout. Let me have that lady here. It's going to happen right now. 
there is a strong force of the spirit. It will, it will be so strong upon the person. Please, when that happens... Look at me. I'm going to pray for you. Please, I want you to believe. Hallelujah. Come, sister. Just those who came out, don't take them back. Just, just leave them. Hold my hands. Out of her. Go. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Devil of darkness. Father, I pray for all of the people. My brother, I didn't pray for you. That was why. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, change his story in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'll just lay hands on you people. I don't know what the issue is, but as I lay hands, I'm seeing a man. Huh? I want to pray for you. Please, because this thing has tied your life down. Lord, let her be free in the name of Jesus. Let her be free in the name of Jesus. Please, if I pray for you, just go back. Change their story, so God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever reason you brought them out, change their stories. As I lay my hands on you, I want you to know that everything is over in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A drama will be acted in this place shortly now. Look up. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to release marriages. This is it. It will start answering from this lady. It will start moving across right now. The power of God will start touching people. I'm about to pray. I've not prayed yet. It will start touching ladies, especially ladies. In a strange way, God is releasing marriages supernaturally. Supernaturally. This way, just like this. Just like this, down. That's how I see the power of God moving. Lift your hand. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we have to every cause of marital delay. Leave God's people now. 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 Every cause, bring them out. Bring them out. Every spirit stopping marriages by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every spirit stopping marriages. Go protect them. Outside, Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Bible says male and female, he created them. Not male and male. Not female and female. Lift your hands. In the name that is above all names. If there is any family here that their marital destiny has been tied down as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives right now, may the fire of the Holy Ghost move and cause deliverance right now. Every spirit husband, every spirit wife, every devil, every demon, go, go. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, every act of witchcraft that has tied families, we release you right now. Hallelujah. 
goodness. God is setting families free. Oh, the devil must give up on you tonight. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. That girl on red, tying red scarf, there is an angel pouring oil on her right now. Right now, I curse that spirit. Go, go, out of her right now. In the name of Jesus. That's right, that's the lady. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming upon her right now. Go, go, go. Release her right now. Release her right now. Release her right now. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to know you mustn't manifest and do all these things. God is just setting people free. Are you getting my point? I like us to just flow with what God is doing right now. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a lady. I'm seeing a lady. You had a dream and a dog pursued you and beat you. Please, who is that person? I, I like us to save time, please. I may not talk to everybody, but we still have a lot of things to do. Please, hurry up. Who is that person? One, if, it's, if you are thinking about it, just remain on your seat, please. This is not guesswork. This is what the Holy Spirit, because we have to pray for the sick. You're going to be free right now. You're going to be free right now. I give the chains. The chains for you. Please hold my hand. It ends right now, oh Lord. It ends. Release her right now. Release her right now. That power of darkness. Let her go. In Jesus' name. Please come, let me pray for you. I break that demonic thing over your life. In the name of Jesus. I break that demonic thing over your life. In the name of Jesus. That demonic thing over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. We break that demonic thing over your life. In the name of Jesus. Look at me. Your family is not even you now. You are a worker in this house. And as a worker, you are entitled to certain blessings. Huh? Your family, there is a cause of hardship upon your family. Your entire family. Hold my hands. You must be free right now. Let her go. Representing her family. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood. What is this that I see in the spirit? You must let her go because she's a faithful worker in this house. In the name of Jesus, out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release your family. I release your family. I release your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me the vision of a tree and I'm seeing it tied with ropes tied with ropes this is what I'm seeing in the spirit is tied and this is like the destiny of this family and they've done everything to tie it but I release it right now I release it by the spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus and I prophesy on everybody whatever the devil has tied the destiny of any family that has been tied be released now 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 every destiny that has been tied by witchcraft go be released now Hallelujah. 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 I tell you.
tell you the breakthroughs that are happening. Many of you will leave this place, you will be surprised. Just believe me. There is somebody outside. Two people, in fact. The fire of God will rush upon them right now in a mighty and strange way. They will never be able to contain it outside. When that happens, let me have those people. If two people in a powerful way is happening right now by the Spirit, you can't stand it. You will just be standing and it will come on you in a wild way like fire. Sopotopata. Like wildfire. It will come upon you. Please let me have the ladies. Like wildfire. It will turn you. You will be running. It will happen to you. You will be running around. You will be running around. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain. Hallelujah. Who is Salome? There is a wild spirit in this lady's family. This lady you are seeing. Let her go now. This is Benway State. In the name of Jesus, release this family now. Release this family now. Hallelujah. Salome. The meaning of your name in your language is like treasure. Treasure or something precious. Who is that? Like treasure. Or don't tell lies here, oh, please. You are the one? What is, what's your name? No, no, Salome, just wait here. You are the one? Salome. The, the meaning of your name. I'm going to pray for you. Salome, where's your mother? She's at home where? We need to pray. God wants to give your family breakthrough. Out of her now. Out of her. Out. Out right now. Out. Out of her. Out. Bring them. She parata barricade brigade boxa. Nipa so paria tabaria dos de caparacata. Ibra dos palia tabaco seca de brigadia. Reteste parata baco seca de leva. Sipana baco. I set your family free right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Now be free. Now be free. Now be free. Out! Out! Be free in the name of the Lord Jesus. May you become that treasure truly. Let your days of crying come to an end in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please rise up. I want us to pray. I'm seeing a lecturer that is going to die next week. If we don't pray, he's going to die. Hallelujah. I'm not, I'm not a prophet of doom. God just interrupted this. Please stand up. In one minute, I'd like us to pray before we continue and say we refuse death. I'm seeing a professor dying next week. 
Lord, we plead the blood. We plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for the sick right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those of you who came with people who are sick, it's time to minister to them right now. Hallelujah. Now, please listen. I know that there are a lot of people and we want to do it very, very fast. I'm sorry we don't take too much time to announce instant miracles. Now, you know, we are bounded by time. If we're doing an afternoon program, we can take so many things. Hallelujah. So I want, it's not like we're not celebrating what God is doing. It, it would have been easy now to just ask these people to testify, to encourage us. But we don't have all of that time now. There are so many people. There are people after this meeting now may return to certain places. Hallelujah. Please and please. Please and please. We don't fake miracles in this place. We don't, we believe in the power of God. I know that many people have come trusting God for healing. And I know that some of us have come with our loved ones. Hallelujah. Praise God. Please, I want us to be orderly in this place. No fighting, no nothing. By the grace of God, we are going to minister to everybody one by one. Hallelujah. Praise God. So please and please, I want you to cooperate with us. Hallelujah. The worship team will lead us in a powerful worship song while we allow those who are sick. You came with someone sick or you are sick. Now is your time to walk up to the front. Come and stand and trust Jesus for a miracle. And make sure you are writing your prayer request if you don't have any prayer request. Hallelujah. Please. If it's someone that cannot stand, maybe if there's a way, protocol can help the people and then maybe we can have a chair or something, whatever it is. Jesus Christ. Those of you standing, lift your hands and begin to thank God for the miracles of people. Please pray. Please pray. His presence is here to him. Oh, hallelujah. We give you praise. Those of you coming out, please begin to pray and say, Lord, my time has come. I know you have all kinds of medical reports. Forget about them right now. HIV cases, cancer oh, cases, whatever it is, genotype, Lord, don't worry, Jesus is Lord in this place. Lord, we thank you. His Please, let's save time. If you've not written your prayer request, start writing it. He, his presence is Let your faith rise. Lord, my time has come. I'm not going back the same. From headache to infection, no matter how little. Oh, hallelujah. Jehovah Rapha. There is a God that heals in the house. So heal. One more time. One more time. Jesus heals. Jesus heals. You will be delivered. I don't care what the situation is. To heal, to heal. To heal. 
son of man can these bones live again hallelujah I want you to know whatever the situation is there is a God we are not against doctors we have doctors here as workers but let me tell you it gets to a point in your life where you have done your best when you have done your best leave it all to Jesus Christ thank you Jesus Christ we are going to pray for you hallelujah listen I want you to believe in the power of the Holy Spirit as I minister to you right now hallelujah praise the Lord the anointing of the Spirit is strong and I see the angels of the Lord here many of you what you call sickness is not sickness it's witchcraft huh? you will be delivered from it and that will be the end of it hallelujah praise the Lord thank you Jesus Christ hallelujah it's, when he's ready he can come and join me Jake is deeply in the spirit so just let him when he's ready Jesus I give you all the praise those of us who are there please don't be carried away make sure you participate and let's trust the miracle working power especially those of you who God is calling you into a healing ministry now is the time to look now is the time to concentrate so that you will receive something we give you all the praise Hallelujah. Daddy, don't cry. What's wrong with you, sir? I, I'm suffering from arthritis since 30 years. 30 years. Brothers and sisters, 30 years arthritis. Uh, and it is a sign of stroke. It gives me a sign of stroke. Is your father... Is your father come? What did they tell him in the hospital? Sir, he's having arthritis. He's having it's not just arthritis. I'm seeing pile. I'm seeing pile. I'm seeing pile. This is witchcraft. Do you have pile? Yeah. I'm, if I want to, if I want to, uh, is yourself? Is it myself? The thing will be strong. That's what I'm saying. It's pile. This is pile. It's not just arthritis alone. This is pile. This is this is an evil thing. Is that pile? Yes, sir. It's having pile. You are having pile. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You too, you are having pile now. See, this is a cause to destroy everybody in your family. It's not just your father. This thing has been there since. Since. Are you getting my point? You are not the only one. You have suffered with this pile. Even you, it has embarrassed you. It's just something you cannot tell people. Because I'm seeing that if they don't help, you will start bending. It will start like your leg will start paining you. The same thing that is happening to your father will happen to you. You've done for me what no man can do. Jehovah. Emela. Jehovah. Jehovah. You've done, You've done for me, me. what no one else will do. Say, may you love Jehovah. Daddy, there is a name that is greater than any ancestry. You will be the first to be healed. Come, hold my hand. Pile! Go now, you are a devil of darkness. I curse you out from her life in the name of Jesus Christ. In the 
name of Jesus. Daddy, I bring you the life of Jesus Christ. The power of God is coming upon you. Stroke, I curse that spirit. I curse that spirit. Strength to you. I curse that spirit. Look at this. In the name of the Lord Jesus, come. Stand up. Come by yourself. Come. Come. Just come. 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 Walk. Come. At this 30 years stroke, 30 years stroke, 30 years stroke. Come on now, look at, look at, look at, look at what is happening to him. 30 years stroke. Come on, give Jesus praise. 30 years stroke. Look at, look at, look at this man. Come on, son. Hey, look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at, look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Ah. Come on now. Hold on. Hold on. How many of you saw this man when he was coming? Are you seeing this now? Look at our daddy. Daddy, are you surprised? I'm surprised. What is happening to you, right? There is no penny. Completely. Hey. Look at this. Come on, give Jesus praise. 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 Hallelujah. The Spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil on, knows celebrate. that I am a winner. The Spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am a winner. Dance to the shame the of the devil. The Spirit of God is upon me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, there are people who believe that these things are stage managed. Hallelujah. How can you stage manage a miracle with an elderly man like this? Eh? From Niger State. This is his first time coming all the way from Niger State. 30 years arthritis. Hallelujah. I prophesy to your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen. In the name that is above all names. I prophesy. Just leave him. Leave him. He's just sitting down. He's, he's so excited he doesn't know what to do with himself. I cannot stand up by myself like that. Before. All right. Sit down and try it again. Sit down and try it again. You know, he couldn't stand up. Help him. Help him sit down. Try to stand up now. Look at this. Help him. Oh, hallelujah. It never returns again in the name of Jesus. Whoever is responsible for any evil, he will reap what he has sown. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Give Jesus praise. Let's hurry up. Let's when Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. Hey! When she don't say yes, nobody can say no. When she don't say yes, nobody can say no. Hallelujah. Please, if you are with a little child, can you guide them so that we know what is wrong with them? Let's save time. There are a number of people. Hallelujah.
listen, the devil, the devil is a liar and a wicked person. Madam, look at me. This woman is going through a very serious situation. But let me tell you, it will change. I don't care what has been removed. One has been removed. They removed. Don't cry. It's okay. It's okay. What exactly did the doctor say? They didn't say anything. You can no longer conceive. Why? Because one has been removed and the other one is not healthy. One has been removed. The other one is not healthy. Ah, son of man, can this bones be big? Hallelujah. I wish this woman was here who had been burying that, carried her child. I don't know if she's here. This fair lady, she's not here. Bro. I wish she were here. She would have brought the child. And let's see that medical reports can be cancelled. She's not here. Habiba's sister. Sadia's sister. She's not here. That one. Is she around? Come. Come. Come with the child. Where is she? Come with the child to the shame of the devil. That's a woman they say will never take in. Come with your child. That's a miracle baby there. Come. Please come, madam. Sorry, don't be embarrassed. Clear the way for her. I want to encourage you. Come. This kind God, oh, I never see in kind, oh. This kind God, oh, bless the be Hallelujah. Name. Hold on. This, this is a woman that nothing would have been able to happen. Nothing completely. But look at the fine boy. See, look, let me tell you. There is nothing that ends argument like results. You can fake a headache, can you fake a child? Hallelujah. Madam, let me tell you the truth. You will not only carry a child, you will carry plenty of people. Please believe. I, I, I brought her out to show you when they gave birth to this baby, this baby was looking like an angel. They were snapping the baby, right? Hallelujah. Father, every woman in this place, every family, trusting God for a miracle child, in the name that is above all names, you did it for this family, do it again. Do it again, oh God. Do it again, oh God. Hallelujah. Madam, you'll be free right now. Look at me. I don't care whether one womb has been removed or whether another one is not working. It's irrelevant. All I know is you will have children and they will grow in wombs. Where it will come, that is not my responsibility. Are you getting my point now? The child is in Something will leave you now. This is this is demonic. Let this woman go now. I command that you get pregnant. Give birth to miracle children. We create new wombs right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is done. You will return with your miracle children. I'll attend to everybody now will be very very fast so that we can save time worship team please what, what my god is awesome he can move my hold on let us yaro na le aje israel le aje israel vin she she and I kid the Nigeria Christian Produce Commission, Abuja. So I say, 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 yah leading, yah in South South. Say, yah Edo Buda, Hudu, she just in Bukeshi. So the children, she the go fourth floor. Say, yah the Shakasa. So the Karba Kudi Awojeshi. Twenty December fourteen. Yah na Pama a Israel. She ne yah na che. Am I naiki enzu? Hari enzu? Am I enzu? Look at Chinde, you are fadi. 
an ce ba za yi bungana ba za yi rubutu ba za yi tafiya ba to ga su ya ce to a ci gaba da tutin dushi yayi addu'a Allah ya ga mace za yi tafiya za yi magana za yi rubutu suna yeso yanzu yana rubutu yana magana amma ka fadu ne bai fara tafiya ba father in the name of your son jesus christ all the way from nigeria by the power of the holy ghost kabala toza tabaranda kalibata zide lembrash ko prande kalabati la kapraste prati satabala mande ke preske la tosko bari dalaba in the name of jesus what's his name bege pochechet Begay, we call you now. Those, I don't care whether they are broken, whatever is wrong with it. Receive life now. Receive life now. We command you to stand up from that dead bed. Stand up from that dead bed now. Your hands will write, your eyes will see, your feet will walk every broken bone we mend it now thank you jesus mama you will return with a testimony in the name of the lord jesus christ and i pray for you now get you on buyer hold on buying can make his office sometimes go your back come on get the kafa harian as well at the kafa they call it singing kashabi and now sir that's what rheumatism i'm going to pray for you we'll pray we'll soon get interpreters Hausa, baju anyone english i hear about you everyone what's that your song yeah 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 yes, yeah that's what that's baggy ah hold on come on sam but can you walk and cut it Hold on now. Young Kaduna, but we are walking and getting Cuba. Then it's a papa, but you are one. Ah, but you are one. Then it's a papa, but you are one. Oh, yeah, but you are one. Then it's a papa, but you are one. You don't know what they are saying, just be just be there. Hallelujah. Mommy be healed of rheumatism now. In the name of Jesus. I cause that pain. Right now in your legs. Be healed. Stand up. Come. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Strength to your leg. I cause it. Pain go. Walk, ma. Walk. Walk. Walk, walk, look at this. Walk, look at this. Any any improvement on your leg? Look at, look at. Rheumatism, couldn't walk well on one leg. In the name of Jesus Christ, it becomes permanent. Completely permanent. In Jesus' name, and your son is healed, and he will return. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. God bless you. We have to hurry up. Sam, sing something else, please. My God is awesome, he can move mountain, keep me in the valley, hide me from the rain. My God is awesome, heals me when I'm broke, strength where I'm
devil. Out. Her right now, release her every part of her body. Shall start collecting the prayer requests very quickly. Start collecting the prayer requests very quickly.
I pray for you. Go back, check yourself. Heal now. In the name of Jesus Christ.
Jesus, the pain is gone. Daddy, I want you to take a step of faith to walk. Leave him. Just support him, but leave him. Make sure, you, don't worry, you won't fall, Daddy. They are standing at your back. Try to turn and walk. Look at this. I could not use this knee before because of arthritis for six weeks. Very painful, but look at I've been able to move it. The pain my is gone. <laughs> the pain is gone. The pain is gone. Don't worry, Daddy. Don't look at the pain. Just look at me. Just look at me. Walk. Follow me. Forget about the leg. Just look at me. Just look at me. Don't take your eyes away from me. I cause evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Try to lift the leg. Try to lift it now. Don't worry. You won't fall. Lift it. Lift it. Look at. Lift it. Lift it, daddy. Lift it. Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Try walking, sir. Father, you have begun this. It, it is perfected. Me, I curse the spirit that sponsors evil. Because this is witchcraft. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the mercy of the Son of the Living God, I command this spell from the crown of your head, Daddy, to the sole of your feet be healed. I command the knee, the ankles, in the name of Jesus Christ, be made whole in Jesus' name. You will not fall. They are supporting you. Please don't be afraid. Just follow me. Come. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Just look at me. Look at me. Look at me, sir. Look at me. Now come. Come. Just come. Just come. 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 Look at this. Come on now. Koinonia, celebrate Jesus. He's walking by himself. Don't worry. You will not fall. They are supporting you. Just come. Just come. Leave them that walk by yourself. Come. Come. Thank you, Jesus. Come. Come on, Koinonia. He's walking by himself. Praise the Lord. Give him a, a sleep and let him be exercising the leg. Give him a 
If you've not written your prayer request, those online, they should connect with us. We want to pray right now. Hallelujah. God is setting people free. Please don't miss the prophecy after this because it's very, very important. Hallelujah. God is going to be... If you've not submitted your prayer request, please do that. Just wave your hands and the ushers will come to you quickly. Please, one minute, one minute. One minute. Let's do this quickly. All those connecting with us. Um, through the internet, they can just connect by faith. Hallelujah. Pastor Jakes will lead us to this session. Praise the Lord. If you can rise, please rise. This is a very prophetic moment. Look at me. Hold on. We're not just doing this foolishly. This is an instruction God gave us. Hallelujah. We've had unspeakable testimonies. I believe almost everybody, this is summary of your prayer request. We may not have time to deal with it. This, please, don't make it ritualistic. Hallelujah. The Bible says Hezekiah took the threat letter and took it to the temple and he dropped it before God. Stretch your hands and begin to pray as Pastor Jakes leads us through this. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want, I want you to pray. We're going to be laying our hands on this request right now. And I'm telling you, God is going to be releasing miracles. You're standing, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, this is it. Everything I've written here lives my life. Everything that needs to come into my life, please pray. Participate in the meeting. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead, Queen Tongues. Shele braka to la mane mang dosi prega la 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 boko so para bala braka la 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 ba dosi mbara la 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 boko so para ya da 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 baka shanda da braka la 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 da boko so baka da baka ya rata bala 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 Rata tapaya raba la bala la bala 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 Rosta e 
with his eyes of mercy he answers our prayers speedily lord your grace i see the angels of god come like flash of light real fast bringing answers to prayers for some of us we will receive calls even tonight answers 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 to prayers ah just like hezekiah opened us his prayers before the lord and right before the prophet left the temple. Answers came. The answers come tonight in the name of Jesus. The answers come tonight in the name of Jesus. The Lord brings healing. Aha. Thank you, blessed Lord. Bakos i perioto shimile gambrong siki parodos sile branda karabadose. There's a particular case. Of consistent pain on your ankle, the right ankle. That person wrote it as a prayer request. The Lord is healing that in the name of Jesus. Father, we lay these prayer points before you. The God of all flesh, the God of all spirits, Abba Father. God, you are greater than our challenges. You are bigger than every problem we have. We ask you, blessed Father, let the seal of your spirit be upon these prayers in the name of Jesus. Let the seal of Jesus, the power of his blood, speak in the name of Jesus. We cause doors to open in the blessed name of Jesus. We command breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Let answers come speedily by your spirit in the name of Jesus. For every heart cry, every pain, the Lord wipes away tears in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise for every prayer point here, Lord, is sealed in the name of Jesus. It is answered in the name of Jesus. We give you the praise, we give you the glory, for we pray in the blessed name of Jesus. And we decree, we declare that we are blessed and our answers have come. In the blessed name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please rise up on your feet. This is, this is a very serious moment right now. A few minutes and we'll be out of here, but this is very prophetic. For me, I consider this to be the greatest part of the meeting where we get to use the power of prophecy to change people's situation because of our time please there are people here you've not given your life to Jesus you've seen the works of the kingdom and tonight you are saying Jesus I want to make it right with you wherever you are please as I pray I want you to march forward you'll be the first I'm going to pray for there are people here right now others you've given your life to Christ but you've not found yourself living the way of the kingdom and you're saying Lord enough is enough enough is enough don't be ashamed don't wait for everybody everyone has joined the kingdom you are the only one left i'd like you to find your way courageously to the front right now celebrate them god bless you as you come people are coming god bless you don't be afraid god bless you i know there are many people outside there are many people inside don't wait for anyone this is a decision this is your salvation this is very important forget about your friend forget about who you came with quickly quickly please save time we'll just count one to three one those outside double up don't be ashamed you don't feel ashamed when a gift is being given unto you please find your way run to jesus christ don't be ashamed this is a decision to begin to walk with god don't be emotional about it this is a sincere decision it can decide your eternity after now don't sit back there are people still sitting back the holy ghost is telling you to get up and come the Bible says if you hear his voice in that day, harden not your heart. 
God bless you. God bless you. There are more people coming from outside. Please celebrate them very quickly. Find your way to the front. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming. This is the greatest decision in this place. Lift your hands, those of you. Those joining them, please join them quickly. Young and old, everyone join them. It's never too late for you to join them. God bless you, our sister. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We don't have all the time, but please make your way very quickly if you have to come. It's never too late. Lift your hands, those of you. Hallelujah. People are used to making very emotional decisions when they respond to the altar call. But please, we mean business. This is very, very serious. God bless you, our sister. Just join us very quickly. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. I believe you died for me. I believe you shed your blood for me. Tonight, I make you my Lord and Savior. I repent of my sins. I receive eternal life into my spirit. From today, I declare that I begin to make progress in my life. I submit to the authority of Jesus. I denounce sin and Satan. From today, I move forward ever and backward never. In the name of Jesus. Keep the hands lifted up. Father, thank you. These hands are lifted unto you. They will never be put down. In the name of Jesus. Let their salvation experience be genuine. And let it last. Thank you for this decision they are making today. The powers of darkness that take them back into sin. And the way of death. We command that they are set free from it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Do wonders in their lives. Make mighty men and women out of them. In the name of Jesus Christ. We celebrate you. We love you. We honor you. Thank you for making this great decision. Now, I'd like you to follow the ushers, the people with blue and black. Hallelujah. Follow the gentleman. This side, just follow them. They will have your details, and then we'll communicate to you. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Thank you so much. Everybody lift your hands. Please rise. Rise as we pray. Praise the Lord. By the way, let me celebrate Pastor Pete Rock's wife. She's been hiding. Hallelujah. If you want them to celebrate your husband tomorrow, clap. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, I'd like you to shout amen as we pray. He said, son of man, can these bones live again? He said, only thou knowest. And he said, prophesy. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is the part where everybody gets to participate because the word is living like rain and it can alter your destiny. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you praise. Right now in the name that is above all names, I pray. Every door that has been closed over anyone's life. Kapoto paretata. Mekelabondele karatabaya. Every door that is closed over anyone's life be open now be open now be open now i command breakthrough right now in the name of jesus every closed door over your destiny be open now Every terminal disease in your body, I command that it comes to an end now. It comes to an end now. It comes to an end now. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And Esther found favor before the king. And the king said, What shall I do to you? Even up to half of my kingdom. I pray in the name that is above all names. May an anointing for favor, a real anointing with proofs, may it come upon your life now. Receive favor now. Favor with God. Favor with man. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. And the king Whoever needs to send for you, whichever destiny helper needs to connect you, 
with the next level of your life I call them into your life now I call them into your life now in the name of the Son of the Living God destiny help us share the word of the Lord I command divine connections in the name of Jesus Christ he said and thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me round about let me tell you the truth the Lord has not called you to a life of weakness and mediocrity therefore I prophesy that anointing for breaking limits I prophesy it upon your life move to the next level academically move to the next level in the name of Jesus Christ listen listen there's no such thing as joblessness ah huh? the Bible says the vine dress are passed and saw them idle he said why sittest thou idle he said no man employ us and he told them go to the vine there is always work when God speaks he saw them idle. he said why sittest without there are many people here trusting God for jobs right now in the name that is above all names between now and next miracle service receive your miracle job I prophesy it I release it for you and for your family members receive it now receive it now receive it now there are people who are overdue for promotion in their workplace the Bible says listen the Bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the west nor the south God can take a man from a dunghill and place him above even if you are not working you can stand for your loved ones Man, I pray as surely as the God of heaven lives whoever is due for promotion and has been hindered we release it now we release it now we release it now we release it now Hallelujah. And Elijah told his servant, he said, check. And he came back. He said, there is nothing. He said, go and check again. And he said, I saw a cloud like the feast of a man. I pray in the name that is above all names, let there be the sound of abundance. I provoke abundance right now. I provoke abundance in the name of Jesus. The Bible says the hand of Zerubbabel that started this work, that same hand shall complete it. Whatever you and your family members have started, I don't care what the project is, whatever resource is required, receive the finisher's anointing. Receive the finisher's anointing in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. everyone trusting God for a godly relationship and marriage my Bible tells me male and female he created them he didn't say male and male he says seek out of the book and read none of these words shall fail none shall want a mate I declare right now that any spell of darkness that has tied you maritally as surely as the God of heaven lives right now I release you. I command your exodus now. I command your exodus right now. For those trusting God for resources, you want to marry but you are tied down financially. And the Lord told Elijah, go to the brook Cherith. There a raven will come and feed you. We provoke the mystery of divine supply. He said, you shall not see the wind. You shall not see rain. But the valley shall be filled with water. I command supply right now. By the favor 
of the Lord God of Israel. Let there be surprise. Hallelujah. I pray for you. The Bible says you will be blessed in the city and you will be blessed even in the country. He said, whatsoever you lay your hands to do is blessed. Lift up those hands in the name of Jesus. From today, whatever you do with these hands, may they be blessed. May they produce remarkable results. Hallelujah. And he said, destroy it not, for there is a blessing in it. When Balak told Balaam to curse Israel, he said, I have been commanded to bless. This I have done and it cannot be reversed. I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may your hands be blessed. Amen. Scripture said they are taken for a prey and none said restore. There must be a voice to cry restoration in the name that is above all names. I command restoration of all the years the canker worm has eaten and the palmer worm. Let there be restoration now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side. None shall harm you. Only with you, your eyes will you watch and behold the reward of the wicked. You see bomb blasts everywhere. There's nowhere that looks safe again. The only place of safety is the name of the Lord. For the Bible says it is a tower, a strong tower. I declare, anyone marked for death here, or any family marked for death, either by witchcraft, bomb blast, assassins, or any kind of political wickedness, the blood of Jesus separates you from the spirit of death. You shall not die. You shall not die. Not by accident. Not by bomb blast. Not by terrorism. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, As for me and my house, I prayed for you. Now I pray for your house. In the name that is above all names, Whatever has mocked the God of Israel in your house, we change that report right now. Whatever has mocked the God of Israel, Sarah said, those who laugh at me have now laughed with me. I declare, we change the story of your family. And his mother named him Jabez. Because she said, I bore him in sorrow. And Jabez prayed and said, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Any name that has been given to you because of your past and is following you today, we change that name right now. Thank you, Jesus. I pray for you right now. Lift your hands. Let the empowerment of the Holy Ghost. Please lift your hands. Just, I just have one minute. There will be impartations right now. The anointing of the Spirit. All kinds of gifts of the Spirit. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it. Receive it. Prophetic anointings. Apostolic anointings. Healing anointings. Take it. Take it. Take it. Everywhere, inside and outside. Entrepreneurship anointings. Receive it. Business ideas. Receive it. Let the spirit of excellence come upon you right now. Every dead prayer life in this place, I command it to come back alive. Every dead word life. I command it to come back alive now. Go and heal the sick. Go and cast out devils. I call you an ambassador with the equipping of heaven. Go and represent the value system of heaven. Go and be a light. Change people's situations. Speak over their lives. 
Hallelujah. Give Jesus praise. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.